Now official, we have our main cast for the upcoming Fantastic Four reboot. Miles Teller is Mr. Fantastic, Michael B. Jordan is the Human Torch, Jimmy Bell is the Thing, and Kate Mara, sister of Girl with the Dragon Tattoo star Rooney Mara, is the Invisible Woman. The new Fantastic Four hits AMC theaters everywhere on June 19th, 2015. John, what do you make about this official casting? Remember to sing with me if you can. Muppet Babies! <laughs> of course it is, of course it is the Fantastic Four Babies. Uh, look, here's the thing, I got so many tweets last night when they made this announcement of Teller, Michael B. Jordan, uh, Kate Mara, and Jamie uh, Bell. And people saying on Twitter, I can't wait to hear Campy go off on this tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. Here and I hate to disappoint you all, but I'm not gonna go off on, because here's the thing. Uh, first of all, um, I just watched Zoolander the other day, so if, you, if you've seen Zoolander, you understand this when I say, uh, Miles Teller, so hot right now. Miles yes. Teller, so hot. Uh, Miles <laughs> Teller is really hot right now. I mean, he, he's a big, Michael B. Jordan, um, a very strong argument can be made. He should got, he should have gotten an Academy Award nomination this year. Mm -hmm. it's just, it was a very tough field, so whatever. Um, Kate Mara is great. I love her in House of Cards. Um, and J I like Jamie Bell. Uh, he was my co-star in Jumper. Uh, I was I was in the London double decker bus that and I was in the pub at the beginning of the film. I was an extra in that movie. Anyway, um, I really like him, and he was really actually quite good in uh, Man on a Ledge with Sam Worthington. And I've had a chance to talk to him a couple times. Really charming guy. I like all these people. I think they're all talented. Great. My problem is not who they cast in the film. My problem is what the casting tells us about the film. And what this tells us about the film is that they're going to have an early to mid-20s Dr. Reed Richards, who's supposed to be one of the most intelligent men on the planet. And, and that disappoints me. I didn't want the Fantastic Four babies. Now, if you've got a Fantastic Four baby story you're going to tell, then it would have been dumb to hire, you know, Daniel Day-Lewis as Reed Richards. It's never dumb to hire well, yeah, Daniel Day-Lewis. never wrong. <laughs> Put the makeup on that guy. He's 20. Yeah. But, but I mean, the, the problem here is if you're going for this, the, the young Fantastic Four babies, then this is a impressive lineup. Mm -hmm. Who's going to argue against Michael B. Jordan after seeing Fruitvale Station? Who's going to argue against Kamara? Who's going to argue against any of these guys right now? It's a nice casting if this is your movie. I'm more concerned about the fact that this is the direction they're going. I'm not happy. Just because I'm not happy, though, doesn't mean it's not the right decision. I mean, we'll see. Maybe they've got a terrific, fantastic story. So, am I happy about the casting? No, but because of what that tells us about the story, not about these individual actors. If you're going with the story, this is as good of a lineup as you could ask for. Uh, I, I just wish they were going with the classic Fantastic Four and not this. That's just my, my thoughts on it right now, which can change. <laughs> but anyway, Amy Rose, you found about the official word. It should be pointed out, this comes as a surprise to nobody. No, We've been talking it's about been this. happening. Jamie Bell is the biggest name out of nowhere that, right. that's kind of filled it out. But your thoughts on this whole development? It makes me think that maybe there's a spy in the midst over at Fox who is trying to make this property fail so the rights are resorted back over to Marvel. Just saying. Um, I, you know, for every great comic book character, there's obviously an origin story. They don't just pop up at 40. So I'm not really offended by the fact, sure, I don't like the whole Fantastic Four babies either, but it's happening. They're trying to reach a younger demographic. They're, you know, introducing the characters again. That's fine, but these... Actors, again, as you mentioned, I like all of them on their own a lot. Miles Teller, he's really been taking some great steps for his career. The yeah, Spectacular really Now is what I was just, and Whiplash coming out of Sundance. I mean, he's a really solid actor with a lot more to say than just the token comedy we've seen, even though he's great at that too. Michael B. Jordan, Fruitvale, I mean, I, I love mm -hmm. him as well. I am a little disappointed that um, they didn't make uh, Sue Storm black as well. I really do. That's the thing. If you're going to go with Michael yes. B. Jordan, I would have much preferred if they cast an African-American actress. Exactly. So they, look, it's a key essential element to those characters really that is. they are blood siblings. And sure, they're going to do some sort of adoption or interracial sure. marriage or whatever. Yeah. It's fine, but if you're going to go that way, I wish she would have continued If you're going that it. way, go exactly. all the way and that I'm way. And I'm fine with you going that way. I think yeah. Michael B. Jordan's going to be a great human torch. Um, so yeah, and Jamie Bell from Michael Chiklis to Jamie Bell. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know. Again, I like all these actors. Kate Morrow's fantastic, but they would have definitely not been my first choice for this. But they're going young, and this is what's happening. So we'll see what happens. I still yep. believe in Josh Trank as the director, so we'll see. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm actually excited about this. To be honest with you, like 
after hearing all the casting decisions and and Jordan being the human torch is fine with me. Mm -hmm. I'm cool. I don't I don't mind, you know, if he's adopted or Sue's adopted or whatnot. I just think it's cool to have to mix it up a little bit. We've already seen a Fantastic Four and its sequel, and I'm on the record saying I hated both of them. So any type of a reboot, Muppet Babies, I don't care, anything. <laughs> well, make up old people awesome. <laughs> with walkers, I'll watch it. Anything besides those other two dreadful, horrible films. And I know that Josh Trank is going for something with an edge. It's not a comedy. It's going to be very serious. It's going to be darker. And uh, everything that I know about the film, uh, which I know a lot about what's going on, I think it's moving forward in the right direction. And... Yeah, they're cast young, it's skewed young. Think about them being, just being in a very special college and there's nothing really that bad about it. If you go back to Fantastic Four number one, Johnny Storm was in high school. Sue Storm was like in her early 20s. Reed and Ben were like probably about 32 or 33, maybe in their early 20s. They weren't all that old. So to me it's, you know, Reed just had those cool gray streaks, you know, it's like, Super cool. Yeah, I mean, he's like a Doctor Strange with stretchy powers, you know? Can't do the magical stuff. But. Yeah, I guess I'm, I'm uncomfortable with this, but I, I think that's the right word, uncomfortable. And sometimes uncomfortable can be good. I mean, this might end up being the absolute perfect direction for them to go. And like I said, if you're gonna go this way, this I believe this is the right cast. But, but I agree with you, again, about the whole Johnny Storm, Sue Storm thing. If you're gonna cast Michael B. Jordan, which I think is a really bold decision to do. And, and he's I like a great it. actor. I do then, I, I just kind of wish for, for the sake of what's essential and core to it, I do wish they would have gone all the way with it and cast a, a, an African American actress to play Sue. Interesting thing though about this cast, um, aside from Miles Teller, who I can't think of anything off the top of my head, all of these actors have comic book or superhero film experience. Mm. So if you're looking at Kate Mara, she was in Iron Man 2. She was actually a very small role. She was like a marshal in, uh, oh. in Iron Man 2. She was also in that movie Zoom. Remember Zoom? Oh. Um, if you're gonna look at uh, Michael B. Jordan, he worked with Josh Trank in Chronicle. Yeah. And he was, was great in that. Uh, Jamie Bell, he was in Jumper. Not a comic book movie, but, a, but certainly a superhero type movie. Mm -hmm. um, and Miles Teller, I, I have no idea. Somebody's <laughs> got, if somebody's got an idea about a comic book or a superhero movie that Miles Teller's been in, let us know. So it's a really interesting thing. It's, it's gonna be curious, now that it's official, that this is the way they're going, which we suspect for a long time. It's interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see what comes out of it and yeah. which way they go. Yeah, now really. let's see who the cast is Doctor Doom. That is Or if they use Doctor Doom. Yeah, he's in it. He's gonna be. Yeah, I mean, it's like, they're gonna use Don't all- Don't say too much. I won't. So I, I think it's a smart move, and I, I'm I'm more excited as more things happen and progress. I think I don't think that this film is going to be a bad version of the Fantastic Four. I just think it's updated. We've already got the bad version of the yeah. Fantastic Four. We got the bad version. We don't have to better, go back. Right? It can't be worse. Right. It's definitely it will I not mean, be. I mean, heaven help yeah. us if it is worse. I don't think that's even possible. <laughs> no, that's not possible. cosmically possible for that to happen. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.